Hi there. This is the fourth in a series of six videos on National 5 definitions covering properties of matter. If you want to test your knowledge of some of the important definitions, then take a look at this file on my website. You'll see a link to it at the top right hand side of your screen now. Another short video here with only five definitions this time. Let's get started with the first. Pressure. In this video, four out of the five definitions can be worked out from an equation, and this is one of them. So, pressure is the force exerted on one square metre. And this is the equation which can help you remember that. Pressure P is equal to the force F divided by area A, remembering that the unit for area is the square metre. Next up is the one definition in this video where an equation isn't used to remember it. Temperature. Here you'll just need to know that the temperature of a substance is a measure of the mean or average kinetic energy of its particles. Specific heat capacity. This is related to heating a substance resulting in a change of temperature. Specific heat capacity is the heat energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. This is a difficult one to remember, although this equation should help. To make specific heat capacity C the subject of the equation, you have to divide both sides by m delta t, like this. Specific heat capacity C is equal to heat energy EH divided by mass m in kilograms, multiplied by change in temperature delta t in degrees Celsius. Make sure that you can see the link between the equation and the definition before moving on. Here's the next one, specific latent heat of vaporization. This one is again related to heating a substance, although since the substance is at its boiling point, it results in a change of state. Here's the definition. The specific latent heat of vaporization is the heat energy required to change one kilogram of a substance from a liquid at its boiling point to a gas. This equation should help you to work out the definition as long as you remember the change of state. To make specific latent heat of vaporization L the subject of the equation, Divide both sides by m. EH is heat energy and m is mass in kilograms. The same equation can be used to help us work out a definition for specific latent heat of fusion. The only change is that this relates to a change of state from solid to liquid. So specific latent heat of fusion is the heat energy required to change one kilogram of a substance from a solid at its melting point to a liquid. And that's us done for properties of matter definitions. If you want to receive updates on new videos, then remember to subscribe to the channel and tell your friends and classmates about it. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.